Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Detective Central. Uh, a couple days ago, Camtasia version 8.0 was released by TechSmith. They have been nice enough to provide me with a copy of it for review purposes. But before I get to the review, I just want to cover my first look at the software. So let's get started. And once again, I would like to thank TechSmith for providing the software. And you can make sure to expect a giveaway of Camtasia Studio 8. So let's get started. Here I have a bunch of things imported on the timeline. They support multiple tracks and not just picture in picture now. It is more enhanced and it's my new favorite video editor because you can now actually, I've already loved Camtasia Studio 7, but this just makes it another step up and I probably won't use Premiere Pro very often anymore because this does everything I want it to do. So let's just give you a first look at this stuff. And now it has a layer style interface. So if I drag something on here, and as you can see, it's kind of small, so let's get a bigger subscribe button. So if I grab this and put it on the timeline, and I can rearrange it, and it's blue, so it kind of copies uh, screen flow in the sense a little bit, not by much. But now you have these corners, so no zoom and pan. You can still zoom and pan, but the main part is you can actually resize stuff with these corners so if I want to make it a bit smaller make it about that and I want to center it you see these yellow lines these are your best friends because you can make cool things with transitions and a bunch of new cool features and have it exactly centered in the center like I just did just by a few clicks so I dragged it onto the timeline resized it how I want and you see, all right there it's centered that direction and if I want to center it the other way I can do that Okay, I'm good that way, and stop. Perfect. Now it's completely centered on all the way around. If I want to go to the top, I can just see that. There we go. And now it's directly at the top. It works very well, and that's just a, one of the main features I like. And it supports a lot of picture in pictures. So if I can go ahead and drag this on and put this at the beginning, I can go ahead and resize this a little bit, make this a little bit smaller. Eh, maybe make it a little bit bigger. This will make the aspect ratio weird so I don't typically use that so I just do this and I'm just going to make it a bit smaller and I can go ahead and keep adding tracks and adding tracks and you can add as a lot of tracks here you, uh, I don't think there's a limit to how many tracks you can have nowadays that's how many there are um, but I'm just gonna do a few for this example so that's pretty cool that you can do that. So I have a TechTube Central logo that should be appearing. There we go. And I can just rearrange it perfectly align it with other stuff. Now it's centered and to the left of that completely. So it really comes in handy. So if I were to play this back, you basically have a cool image. You can also, like I be, you could before right, uh, you can edit this completely. So if I have this background right here, and I double click. I can't do it for pictures, unfortunately, but you can fade it in and out with text like you could before. But this really just comes in handy a lot. There's also some new things in the library, some more options. I'm not gonna go over that just for this brief overview. And we're about three minutes in, so I'm good for time. That's just one of the cool features I like. You have voice narration, which is the same as before. You have record camera, so if I want to record a video camera, I can do that. I can add captions, just like before, and I can add quizzing. So really, the main big features are this. Better features include more borders and stuff, which I'll get to in the review. Multiple picture-in-picture, -picture, which is a huge breakthrough, and just an overall cool-looking design. It's a really cool piece of software, and you can download a trial. The link will be in the description. Stay tuned for my full in-depth review. That'll probably be really long, along with a giveaway. So you guys want to subscribe and catch out more info on TechSmith's Camtasia software, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button above and check out their website, TechSmith.com. I'll catch you guys later.